Today we are in for one of the craziest dining experiences we've ever had. We're going to a place called Scratch Paseo in the Arts District of Oklahoma City. Guys, in this kitchen, this restaurant, why is it so crazy? Well, they are like 95% scratch. Okay, to conceptualize that, they are making literally everything they can. They're making their own butter. They're baking their own breads. They make all their own sauces, their pickles. They make their own ketchups. I love ketchup. They're literally even making and harvesting their own salt. Like this is insane. It's all local focus. It is such a seasonal rotating menu that they have, you know, things like like Oklahoma, just classics and items which are so hard to come by. They have freaking bison. Yes, bison ribeyes. They have a sweet tea marinated fried chicken. They have lots of odes to the heritage of Oklahoma, the diversity of its culture. And I gotta say, this is absolutely insane. So I'm so excited to go check this place out. We're gonna order all kinds of different foods. I know they have like catfish, they got grits, Southern classics, Oklahoma classics, and undoubtedly some really unique and one of a kind items to experience. So with that, let's go order some food. Let's have some fun guys. I'm pumped, let's go eat. Hi everyone, so we're here with all the food and I could not be more excited, honestly. So basically what I have in front of me, we have their delicious half bird. This is some crazy, huge, delicious looking fried chicken. We have biscuits, there is a peppercorn gravy here. I then have their lovely looking tomahawk steak. Yes, this is a bison tomahawk. And everything is so local. They actually do a bit of a cedar branch on it for the sides and with the Brussels sprouts. I also went with the uh, vegetables there, the sauteed vegetables. We then have their award-winning burger. So this smash burger of theirs, which is served like an onion burger, kind of cooked on the grill. This is one best burger in Oklahoma City for a couple of years. So I'm super excited to try it out. There's the fries then, which are a uh, kind of a barbecue seasoning on them. We have their amazing looking melon and tomato salad. So we have fresh watermelon, fresh local tomatoes, pecans in it, and it just looks amazing. Pea sprouts. Then we have these fish and grits. So fish and grits is a, like a very southern thing, but man, the way these grits are, they're so fluffy, so buttery looking. This catfish looks fantastic. Lovely mixed like uh, young greens on top. There's just so much stuff here. And they even make all their own hot sauces. They make their own ketchups, which I have a variety of different sauces here. I love this style of cuisine. Like I said, I wanted some real Southern food, some Southern cuisine. I got myself some sweet tea. All right, I'm probably gonna start with some of the vegetables. I think that's a good place to start. So seasonal vegetables, guys, mushrooms, zucchini. Mm. Whoa, 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 heirloom carrots. Banana peppers, and you taste that difference. Mm. Yes, they make their own butter, and they put some of that in here. And man, the taste of those local, local, local. Mm. Fresh vegetables is just game changing. A little bit of eggplant, crisp, fresh, so good. Try some of these Brussels sprouts, you've got some bacon in there. Oh my gosh. Game changer. El Dante, but it is sweet. That caramelization in those sprouts and the natural bitterness. What a stellar item. Mm. First bites, 10 out of 10. I'm gonna uh, probably leave the salad for a minute. It's gonna be light and refreshing. So let's try some of these heavier items. So let's try this bison, this steak, guys. And just look at this. Look at the beauty of this tomahawk. The beauty of this bison ribeye. So bison's generally quite lean. Again, they do actually put some cedar in there, some young cedar. This is just like salt, pepper, cooked on a lovely cast iron. Oh my little gosh. Look at this. Look how awesome that looks. Cooked perfectly. Oh, and it smells so good. Let's give this a bite. Yes, please. Oh my, oh my, oh, oh, oh my God. That is the best tasting thing ever. Mm. Word, I'm trying to think of words, but words cannot describe. Wow, 
the way it is just the fat is perfectly rendered in that again as it's the bison is definitely a little leaner than like a beef and the taste of the bison is very similar to beef and the bison are coming from a local farm this place literally again is so local that they butcher their own cows this is just stellar the way the outside is finished, the fat is perfectly rendered. Mm. Just as good as that first bite. There's so much meat on this also. And right off the bone, you get that delicious fat. There's a lot of food. I think you could share this. And if you check this out, the way the meat just pulls from that bone, you can see how tender it really is. Even though the bison is so much leaner than like a beef, I gotta say the uh, it was still that's still a pretty rich and succulent, succulent, succulent piece. Let me try this burger. So the smash burger, like we said, this one's actually I'm kind of done like an onion burger. They finish it on the grill. This is a short rib, and they actually said this is probably about 50% fat content. I'm excited to give it a go. Let's see what it's all about. literally melt in your mouth. There's a aioli on here as well. That bun is super, super, super soft. You get a great beef flavor. You get a light sense of that onions. So rich. Mm. I'll try it with a little bit of their spicy ketchup. Oh, mm. wow. Mm. This is phenomenal, this spicy ketchup on that burger. Mm. The caramelized onion is just melting my mouth. This is butter, butter soft. That is just like, you gotta try it. And I saved the last bite of the burger just to kind of show you. You can see like the uh, onions built in there, like the caramelized onions literally integrated in with the patty. Here, I got some more of their, that's their normal ketchup. They have some barbecue sauce. This spicy ketchup that they make here. It's real good. Let's try this fish. So we have the catfish and grits, lots and lots of greens on top. A bit of a, like a rosemary butter on that. Dive into this fish here. Looks super moist and flaky. That is good catfish. I love the seasoning on it, definitely some salt, pepper. There's something else, maybe some like garlic powder. I'll try it with these grits, these super, super creamy, buttery grits. Oh my god. All right, I didn't know grits could taste like that. Wow, just, here, look at this. You see that? It's so thick. And it just, the flavor. Mm. It is fluffy. It is so buttery, creamy, savory, and that dynamic. I have never had grits like this. This is the best grits I've ever had, hands down. Normally I'm one to add sauces to things. There's just nothing that new. Like, I love my catfish generally with hot sauce, but I really don't think I can add anything to it. Like that is such a rich ditch, it is very filling. But man, I have never had something like this. So, this has changed grits and anything for me, especially fish and grits. I think it's a reasonable time to try this salad. So watermelon, tomatoes, the sweetness of that watermelon. So that bite of that tomato, that was a cherry tomato. There's a couple other like heirloom tomatoes in here. I really do get the smoky aspect. And that's coming from the grilled honey vinaigrette. Yeah, so you might wonder what grilled honey is. But I asked them, I was like, how do you grill honey? So they're saying they actually take a big thing of honey and they put like a coal in it like literally the hot coal, like a briquette. They put that into the honey and it caramelizes it, it grills it up. It makes such an interesting flavor. I really like it. An interesting, like in a really good way. Like the tomatoes and the watermelon are so light, fresh and floral. Having that smoked honey, it adds a, a smokiness to it, which actually brings a heavier, like a heavier note to it. And it's light feeling, it's fresh feeling but it has a flavor of like something like heavy, kind of like a, a smoked cocktail or something, which is so unique. I've never had something like that. 
great dynamic. I'm trying to find the words to describe it. All these dishes are so intricate. I thought like I was not too bad with stomach food, but I almost feel out of my realm how good this is. It is just so, so, so cool. So innovative. I have never had dishes like these. And last but not least, the fried chicken, a whole half bird, giant, giant. The size of this breast, this chicken leg alone is like the size of a turkey leg. We got their house-made biscuits. Again, the pepper gravy. Oh, yes. And I do have some of their um, kind of house-made pickles back here. So it is a sweet tea brine and then buttermilk. And listen to this grit. Oh, ho, ho. flour, their house-made blend of sauces, salt. It smells really good. That's just said there's nutmeg in this. So I'm gonna try a bite just by itself. But then I not only have, um, you know, the addition of different ketchups, hot sauces that they all make here, if I want it, but also have this pepper gravy, so give it a shot. Oh my gosh, I have never had a fried chicken like that. Mm. So it is super juicy in there. The crispness is out of this living world. You can tell the chicken from that sweet tea brine carries a little bit of a darker colored note to it, but it is so, so, so tender. Just like, see if I can like show you guys this. Like you see how easy that just pulled apart? The seasoning on this fried chicken is one of the best I've ever had. And why I like it, there's so much flavor in it. So I'm not just talking like, oh, a little bit of salt, a little pepper. Guys, I'm getting everything, which is like something that's a little spicy. I'm getting some, I think it's like garlic. Again, that dynamic, that nutmeg warms it up. We'll try a little bite with this uh, pepper gravy. All right, it's crispy. Oh. Oh my gosh. I just cannot believe how crispy this chicken is. When I put on that little bit of that pepper gravy, it is so like, oh man, talk about rich, talk about pepper. I have different hot sauces. This is actually, uh, this, is, this is a Carolina Reaper ghost pepper one. Let me try just a little dab of that. Great flavor. Mm. They have some purple carrot in there. I think this is a habanero a hot sauce. Mm. Tastes like habanero. Here is their uh, biscuits, house-made biscuits. Mm. Mm. I get a crunch on the bottom. Super flaky buttermilk biscuit. Literally just melt in your mouth. Super flaky. I didn't see how flaky that is, but it's actually really moist. Mm. Moist, flaky, biscuits and gravy. Mm. And I can't believe how crispy this is, just like, like I, I can just squeeze it, you hear it. And it's just like, oh man. I'm just gonna bite it, I was gonna try to rip it, but. And this is a jar of their um, jalapeno hot sauce. We'll try some of that on here. Ooh. Simplicity at its best. You get the lovely taste of the pepper, like that, the uh, jalapeno. I'm loving this here. Let me try this in this uh, spicy ketchup. Mm. I don't think I've ever had a biscuit which is so moist and flaky on the inside. It has such a nice crunch on the outside. I'm used to a lot of biscuits being like kind of doughy. This is great. Like I said, just a little bit of crunch. Beautiful flake. Mmm. I'm not gravy. I still have some of these veggies here that I'm gonna try to get through a little bit more. Because they were absolutely delicious. Besides that, I still have some of this chicken. I might even take it to go, because it was dang good. But I gotta say, everything here today, 
was a 10 out of 10. So there's Scratch, Paseo, and there's Paseo Arts District. I found this place from the reviews, looking up some of the best kind of Southern cuisine. Uh, true kind of Oklahoma cuisine, as funny as that sounds. And this is where I came by, and I'm so glad I did. And the fact that 90% of it is local, is just super impressive. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you are in Oklahoma or the area, come on by. You gotta try some of these items. I think my favorite items today, oof, that's a tough one. All right, so I'm gonna pick like my favorites and I'm gonna tell you like what you need to try. So that burger is worth trying, 10 out of 10. The uh, bison tomahawk is worth trying, 10 out of 10. I think what just surprised me the most Okay, hold up. And that watermelon uh, tomato salad, that is worth a 10 out of 10 as well. What surprised me the most is this chicken. So, sweet tea brined, then buttermilk brined, I didn't really know what to expect. But just how crispy this is, the combination with that and this pepper gravy, it is a keeper. And it is phenomenal. And I tried it with the hot sauce. Uh, try it with the ketchup, but you don't even need that. You have everything you need right here. Uh, biscuits are really good too. So, I thought everyone, until next time, hope you enjoyed today's video. And that, that's about it. So, say happy, have your happy eating, have a lovely day. That's it. I appreciate you guys. Until next time. That's it. Goodbye. Just over a three hour drive to Oklahoma City from Dallas area. I was a little, I was in our uh, Arlington, a little, a little further south. Um, pretty much straight shot though. This is not a bad drive. Should be good. I'll show you what it looks like between Texas and Oklahoma. It's pretty, well, I'll show you. Oklahoma City. Driving between Oklahoma and Texas, we got basically fields like that. We got some windmills, and we're still looking for Mr. Joe, the Tiger King, because I actually saw a sign for a Tiger Ranch Park not long ago, so. Let's look for Mr. Joe's Tiger Ranch.